Hey everyone, it's Mayo. In this video, we will be doing Simba's level 10, the Dreamlight Grove quest. So let's get started. First, we're going to go talk to Simba. May, I'd like to take a closer look at the Dreamlight fruit. Can you help me? Sure. Since the Dreamlight tree grew on the Sunlit Plateau, I've started to remember more about my past here. There used to be more than one Dreamlight tree around the valley. It would be great if we could bring the others back. That way, every creature in the valley can enjoy them no matter where they live. So I was thinking maybe the dreamlight fruit that grows on the tree can help us do that. I want to examine them up close, but every time I try to grab one, I end up squashing it. Let me get them for you. Thanks, May. So I got, so I got my foraging buddy in hopes we get an extra fruit. Because they are very rare and you only get three every 24 hours here's the tree it's so beautiful nope we did not get any extras but that's okay giving it to Simba I'm starting to remember something May you and Remy used the dreamlight fruit in a bunch of recipes but I'm still not sure if the fruit will help us get more dreamlight trees. Maybe I knew once. For now, the only other thing I remember is Mother Gothel sometimes picked the fruit. Do you think she knows something? I'll talk to her. She'll want to help. That'd be great. Thanks, May. Mother Gothel, where are you? She's up in the Forgotten Lands. Ugh. You again, just teasing, dear. Delightful to see you. Ah, uh, May, for what pedestrian problem do you need my advice today? Simba wants to grow more dreamlight trees, and he remembers you picking fruit from them in the past. So I wanted to ask, mm -hmm. Oh, May, you've come to the right place. Of course I'll help you. Why, I just happen to have a book that holds all of the answers you're looking for. It's something Merlin dropped in the glade long ago, and it has notes on the experiment. You two were so fond of. Here you are, Experiments on the Dreamlight Tree, Volume 42. Thanks for keeping it safe. You're welcome, dear. It's not exactly a scintillating read. The important thing to remember is that only someone wielding Dreamlight magic can bring back their Dreamlight trees. You'll have to make something called Dreamlight Tree Fertilizer. In an empty vial, mix the fruit with some crystals. Purify night shards and sunlit plateau water. Once it's done, apply it to your royal watering can, and then, then, then there's more to do, but I wouldn't want to overwhelm your little head with too many steps. Go make the dreamlight tree fertilizer, and I'll leave the rest of the instructions with your lion friend. Okay. I'm going to collect all the materials. I hadn't realized that when Simba took one of our fruits, we only got left with two. So I'm going to have to come back to this in 24 hours. Okay everyone, I'm going to be honest, it's been a little bit more than 24 hours. It's actually been a few days, but that's okay. Let's get back to what we were doing. Uh, I've been collecting fruits, so I have enough already. But I'm going to speed through and get everything else I need. Okay, now we need to get some sunlit plateau water, and that's what these glowing things are. So, they were actually lined along the river, but you only needed one. So, okay. Craft the dreamlight tree fertilizer. Use the dreamlight tree fertilizer in your inventory. Well, I actually have a potion on. Does that matter? I'm sorry, I'm just wasting it. Maybe it's not even counting. Okay, I wasted what potion I had in my watering can. Now let's use this one. Return to Simba. Hey, May. Mother Gothel came by to see me. She was helpful, in a way. 
She sort of reminds me of my uncle Scar, which means you should definitely be careful around her. Anyway, she wanted me to tell you what you need to do next. First, choose the part of the valley where you want to grow a new dreamlight tree and then water the flowers there. Watering flowers to grow a dreamlight tree sounds a little strange, but okay. Mother Gothel said that the roots of the dreamlight tree stem from both the ones above the well in the plaza and the ones we planted together. And they span the whole valley. Watering flowers with a special fertilizer helps the water reach the roots of the dreamlight tree. So new sprouts can grow there. Then we'll have trees all over the valley. Anyway, once you watered enough of them, we'll go back to the dreamlight tree on the sunlit plateau. And pretty soon, new dreamlight trees will grow. So our trees are networking? I don't know what you mean. But they're connected, that's for sure. I guess there's only one way to know if it works. I'll go to the Frosted Heights, Forgotten Land, and Glade of Trust to water some flowers. If it works there, it'll work anywhere in the valley. Sounds good. I can't wait to see what happens. Okay. Going to go to the Glade of Trust. Where's a flower when you need one? Okay, we need to water five in every biome. Well, the three biomes we need to do. I'm moving my flowers because I don't know if one like randomly spawns and I don't want it to interfere with like any decorations I've placed. Talk to Simbo. I watered the flowers in the Glade of Trust, the Forgotten Lands, and the Frosted Heights. Great, let's go back to the Dreamlight Tree. Follow me. Wow, May, this is incredible. There are trees growing all over the valley. It really feels like the balance has been restored. And everything kind of smells different, don't you think? It feels a little more magical. I guess there's, that's one way to say it. I wonder what Nala will think of all of this. I bet she'll be pretty excited. I want to see the look on her face when she finds out too. Let's go find her. Okay. Talk to Simba. Oh, I was like, what? I can't believe I found Simba. Hey. Nala was so happy. And it's all thanks to you. You helped me find balance with all my responsibilities. Uh -huh. And you helped me find my place in the valley. So to thank you, I asked Scrooge McDuck if he had anything special to give you. Ah. You know, something a human might appreciate. He gave me this. Cute painting. I don't really know what it is, but it looks pretty nice. And it reminds me of the Pride Land. Maybe when you look at it, it'll remind you of all the adventures we've gone on together. Anyway, I hope you like it, May. You're a good friend, and remember, you can always count on me. The Dreamlight Grove completed. Well, that's it for all of Simba's quest. If you haven't already started on Nala's quest, her level 2 stake in your territory is up next. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.